I'm gonna take you through five quick and easy breakfast ideas. I get asked a lot about breakfast and what I eat on a daily basis, so I'm gonna show you great ways to prep five easy meals that taste delicious. So the first one is what I call an egg muffin. What you need for the egg muffins, the base, of course, are eggs. I'm using egg whites for mine, so I'm just gonna crack the yolk out of the egg and just use the egg whites. And then for my mixture for the eggs, I'm gonna use almond milk. We need a pan and um, spray for your pan so your egg muffins don't stick on the pan. You can really get creative. Um, I like to do mine with broccoli, reduced fat cheese. I chopped up some onion. We're gonna do salt and pepper. And then I prefer mine to be a little bit spicy. So we're doing cumin, crushed red pepper, and paprika. I'm gonna start by cracking 12 eggs into my mixing bowl. I like to do one egg white per muffin slot, like the cupcake slot. I count my macros, so this way if I do one per 10, I know to calculate one egg white per serving. Okay, so now we have our 12 egg whites in our mixing bowl. We're gonna take our milk and we are gonna put about a half a cup in there. This is a fourth. Now we're gonna add seasoning. A half a teaspoon of each thing. I like a little kick. Start with the paprika. The crushed red peppers, I'm gonna get a little aggressive and go with a tablespoon. Let's whisk this together. So now that we have our egg mixture all mixed together, spray each hole, make sure you get like the sides of it and everything. Now our muffin tin is all greased up. I like to use about a fourth a cup and for my dipping, so I'll just dip this into the egg mixture and pour it evenly into my 12 tins. I've also done this, instead of using like a milk mixture, I've used um, water before. So if you don't wanna use any type of milk or soy or almond milk or anything like that, you can also use water. These already look delicious. So for the toppings, I'm gonna use frozen broccoli, cheese, and onions. I'm just gonna disperse broccoli pieces throughout. Also some great options instead of broccoli is zucchini, spinach is really good. I'm gonna take a little bit of chopped onion and just sprinkle it along with the broccoli. Now, last but not least, we have our cheese. The reason I like to use sliced cheese is because I count my macros and I have to know exactly what I'm eating. What I do is I cut it in four. So I only use a fourth per egg muffin. Easy, breezy, um, so simple. So last but not least, um, salt and pepper. And all I do is sprinkle some salt and pepper over the whole muffin tin. Um, and also, prior to um, making this deliciousness, I preheated my oven to 375 degrees, so that has already been nuking. A little bit of salt and pepper on each. So this is all done. All the ingredients for the egg muffins are in the egg tins. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in the oven. This prep time took like five, six, seven, eight minutes. So let's stick it in the oven for about 20 minutes. So how amazing do these egg muffins look? Next, we're gonna make French toast sticks. What we're gonna need is Ezekiel bread, eggs, and I'm gonna use just the egg whites, any type of milk that you wanna mix your eggs with, vanilla extract, spray for a pan. Then I prefer a sugar-free syrup because it's low carb, so let's get started. What we're first gonna do is we're gonna take our slices of Ezekiel bread, we're gonna cut them into sticks. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our larger mixing bowl and we're gonna break our egg whites into our bowl. Now we're gonna take one fourth cup and we are gonna put our almond milk into the egg mixture. And to give it a little bit more flavor, I'm gonna add vanilla extract and we are gonna do one teaspoon. Just give it a good whisk around. 
And then we are gonna take our French toast slices and we're gonna dip it in the egg batter and put it on our hot skillet. Because French toast, I mean, this isn't like a high protein breakfast, what I've also done is I've added a scoop of protein powder to my French toast, and it's also delicious. So just kind of give them a good flip back and forth until that color starts to happen. So now we're just gonna take the French toast and we are gonna lay it on a flat surface to cool before we stick it in a plastic bag. Now we're gonna make one of my favorite breakfast items, the breakfast tacos. I am going to start with spinach, mushrooms, onions, as my vegetable um, flavoring. I'm gonna just drizzle some olive oil. Spinach. I'm just gonna use a giant handful. Get that nice and going. A small handful of onions. While our spinach and vegetables are sauteing, I went ahead and cracked the eggs in the bowl. I like to do um, two to three eggs per taco, so however many eggs you want, just crack into the bowl. I'm gonna do a splash of almond milk in my egg mixture. Now we're gonna add our seasoning straight into our eggs. A little less of a half a teaspoon of the cumin, like that. A full teaspoon of garlic powder, like so. And then a full teaspoon of onion. So there's that, and then we are just gonna get a fork or a whisker and just whisk our egg mixture. We are just gonna pour the eggs. And then from here, I like to add cheese to mine. One slice. And then I like to add tomatoes to mine. So I'm just gonna add a couple cherry tomatoes. So we got our two corn tortillas, and we are just gonna put a spoonful of eggs on each one. Amazing. So now what I do is I sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper, because I wanna completely just be able to grab them in the morning and go. I like a little bit of hot sauce and jalapeno. Voila. Now look at that, amazing. Perfect for on the go breakfast. The fourth recipe that I'm gonna make for you guys is a protein pancake. All it has is protein powder, oats, and almond milk. That is it. One half cup of oats. We are gonna do one scoop of protein powder, shreds blueberry muffin because it is absolutely amazing. Almond milk. We're gonna do a fourth cup. That is literally it. You mix it and then you put it on your hot skillet. Cook these until they start to kind of bubble on top. They're gonna turn a little light golden brown color. So our fifth and final breakfast that's quick and easy on my list is something called overnight oats. This recipe is super simple, just like the protein pancakes. All you need is oatmeal and um, either milk or water. I'm using almond milk. And then whatever toppings or um, nuts or fruit or whatever you want in your oatmeal, um, you'll need that as well. You will also need mason jars or some sort of jar that looks like this. And literally all you do is stick your oats in the jar, stick your almond milk in the jar, your toppings, and then put it in the refrigerator until morning. So let's do this. I'm gonna start with 40 grams, which is a half a cup. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my almond milk. You know what, I'm gonna do a half a cup. So we have our oats and our almond milk in the mason jar, super easy. So this is the base, this is basically all you need. Now all you do is add your toppings that you want in your oatmeal. I'm gonna do a half a banana, blueberries, cinnamon, and um, a little bit of stevia. 
how amazing does that look? All you do now is pop it in the refrigerator and you are done. So we are complete with our five breakfast items. We made the egg muffins, we made the French toast sticks, we have the breakfast tacos, the protein pancakes, and the overnight oats. I hope you guys enjoy all of this. Remember, these are five wonderful, tasty, quick and easy breakfast ideas for you guys to try.